Hey there everyone and welcome to another AIY Inspirational Arts Painting Tutorial. This tutorial is going to be all about this beautiful blue falls and swan painting. For the painting, you'll be needing cardboard or canvas, acrylic or poster paints of blue, black, white and a bit of yellow, and different sizes of paintbrushes. And don't forget to have some sort of palette or plate to help you mix your colors while painting. To start off, we'll be working on the waterfall. For this, you'll be needing your white, blue and black acrylic paint with your largest size of paintbrush. Just follow my steps and you will get your beautiful results. And as usual, I'll be guiding you through with a few tips. When you get to this part of the painting, make sure your blending is very smooth. That will make your waterfall look very neat and clean. And to do that, you have to make sure you put the right shade of color to help you blend properly. Now that I'm done with the waterfall, I'll let it dry. Till then, I'll be working on the rocks which will be right in front of the waterfall. For that, make sure you've already pictured the shape and size of the rocks you want to paint. Then, just paint them out. Make sure your strokes are smooth so your painting doesn't look messy. Now just cover the rocks with some black paint as the base. Then put some white on the part of the rock where the reflection of light would show most. Now just follow my lead and make sure your blending is smooth and neat. Now I'm just going to add some dark grey and smoothen the rocks. Now I'm going to let my rocks dry and work on the lower part of our painting, which means the water. First I'll cover most of the portion with blue, which will become our base. And then I'm going to slowly work my way towards making it better. But don't forget, it is very important for you to maintain your smooth blending throughout the painting.
Now, it's best if we let the lower part of our painting dry off a bit. Till then, I'll be working on our unfinished rocks. which means the water area. Right now, I'm adding some white to make our painting look a bit more attractive. some white in my waterfall as well to make it look a bit more flowy and beautiful. While doing that, I'll make sure I bring this beautiful texture which is gonna make it look like it's actually falling down. Right now, I feel like my painting looks a bit too dark on those sides, so I'll be adding some white and blue to make it look brighter. But while doing this, I have to completely make sure that my blending is smooth and goes on with the rest of the waterfall. Now that I'm completely done with the rocks, waterfall and my lower part of the painting which is the water, I'll be going into making the splashes of the waterfall. For this, I'll be using a diluted solution of white paint and some water. Put it on a toothbrush and slowly put it on the paper in this way. Make sure the motion goes from down to up. Now 
you can make the splash as big as you want and then just smoothen out the lower part of your splash. Once again, I'll be taking my diluted solution of white paint and a bit of water. Now simply point your toothbrush towards your paper close to the splash and literally spray the paint all over to make sure it looks quite beautiful. But make sure it doesn't go too far away from the splash or it's gonna look messy. Do notice the way I'm moving my finger, this will guide you towards making your painting. If by any chance some of the droplets go out of order, please do clean them off with a wet or damp cloth. Be careful while doing that so you don't spoil your painting. Now have a look on the painting so far. Next up, we'll be making the swans. For that, I'll advise you to first draw your swan out with a pencil and then slowly paint your way with your paintbrush and some white paint. Now we can make the beaks with some yellow paint. Make sure you use a very tiny paintbrush for this job to make sure your painting looks neat and not messy. Now I would like to create some highlights on the water with some white paint and a flat brush. Back to the swans now. Now just add a few finishing touches to your swan and you'll be done with your painting. Now make the eyes of the swan with your black paint and tiny paintbrush. Make sure you don't make any mistakes because it might be hard to omit those. After the painting has completely dried, all you have to do is make a border or a frame using whatever materials you like and then use some glue to stick it up on the painting. Done! Hope you guys enjoyed the video. For more amazing content, do subscribe to our channel. If you already have, then stay tuned so you can get more amazing content that you would like. Thanks for watching!